Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? Do you think that attending this ceremony has changed your world vision? Yes, obviously. Before it, I was so focused on my own knowledge. This ritual made me understand the power of sharing, of emotions and of the bonds between people. This new vision gives me new perspectives. A whole new life is ahead of me. I hope I'll be lucky enough to be by your side. We share amazing memories now. A bond has been created between us, too. And I can't imagine this new life without you by my side. Anything else? I must leave you. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you, but Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it, and in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site, a place full of magic. I followed his instructions, and all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Doné Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Doné Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, 
a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on all Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enonmil Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? You told me that during the ritual with Katasach, you felt the bond he'd created. It's true. And it was an incredible feeling. I felt like I was every blade of grass in that remote place. I could see everything, feel everything, and I knew that I could bend the trees to my will. Do you still feel that way? Yes, but in a more dull, muffled way. The first time, it was surreal and perfect. In fact, I don't know if there's a word for it. The first time? The first time it happened. Now it's as if I've become used to feeling this bond. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's... My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy... Pl I must take my leave. Take care. Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, currents of Katasach. We learned of his death. And washed Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your high king, Vinbar, is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Kertonsidak? What happened? 
How could a friend of Katasak do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nardaig. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enonmil Frichterman, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. Undivorced, Tyre. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. Who will win the vote in your opinion? I don't know. Each of the three chiefs that I spoke of could win. It is possible that some amazing feat places one of the Mal above the others. If Bladnid had been victorious, she would certainly have won this time. But that was not to be. Is there anyone else among those presenting themselves? Do not take me for someone born last summer. You want to influence the vote for your own gain, but you shall fail this time. And you must go before the one we have chosen. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Qua awelem seg. What brings you here on Omanawi? I am the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king, and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power. But Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past. And chasing away those who came does not make sense. 
the wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Enon Mil Frichtemann, and I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nadai Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who rest there were great men. Now we have earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. It may be wise to make sure your pretender's intentions are compatible with yours. And if it's not the case, to find another. We wouldn't want to be the architects of a future we don't like, would we? You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it.
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders, and you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaixe. I wish to lead my people to victory, 
and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Once the power is in her hands, she will send a wave of blood and destruction over the entire island. I know that you are bound to this island, but think of the others, of us, of your cousin. Think about it. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other in Ixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Tirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us. Take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Sorry, Deirdre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated, who will obey the orders of the Renaixi, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown, and I won't leave without it. Enough. I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Derdra. Huh! 
To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I regret to inform you that your High King, Vinbar, is dead. And divorced Tyre. He was a great man, although he left us a long time ago. But why have you come to notify me of such sorrowful news? Glendan has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true, and I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions, but rest assured, I seek only to bring peace to our lands. Peace brings life and prosperity by creating an alliance with the people of the continent. The lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you, if you were to be named High King. I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. Of course. If I become High King, I would be glad to help you. You are Karantz of Ignamri, after all. If you really want to make sure that I win, you will need to seek the crown of the High Kings. What is that? It may only be a legend, but it is said that High Kings used to wear a very ancient crown. The first guardian would have taken it to the grave. And where is the first guardian? Somewhere not far from here, since he fought his the entrance to his burial mound, the path that leads to it. But beware. If anything else. Nothing. Greetings. Bird tier too much, Renaxi. I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic 
is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtemann. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits. The healing of wounds of Tifredi. And those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the sun that was lost and refound on our island. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The Council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. Congratulations, Dungus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Miel Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. Resting in this village for two days is nice. But if you have other things to do, we could take care of them instead of waiting. I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual moneylender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. 
and she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the Saint Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No, no one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah, that sounds better. You know that in order to attain supreme glory, there are a few rungs on the ladder. None of my champions will make a trip to fight against someone barely known. Even if I promise that the spectacle will be worth the journey? No one cares about promises. Prove yourself in the arena and win at least the third challenge and people will start to listen to you. Very well. We'll see each other again soon. At least you have the right attitude. That's Summit. I will leave you alone until your reputation in the arena is established. There's no point in me following your trail for days. Yes, that's wiser. It could take some time. Let me know if you need me. Of course, Petrus. Ready to excite the crowd. I don't need to remind you how this works. Inside the crowd. I don't need to remind you how this works. to excite the crowd. I don't need to remind you how this works. Hey, 
Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You saw them win the first challenge with audacity. And here they are. <laughs> to excite the crowd. Could you explain so, in each challenge? But once the challenge is... I need to... Uh. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Here for your greatest pleasure, our team of Excellent. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You've grown to love their faces. You know their faces. <laughs> Yeah! 
public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I've done what you asked. Can I have my fight now? I have to admit that you've surprised me. You have technique. Let me think. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer. This briskard sounds like the perfect... A deal! I'll work on getting things... Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a jewel. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go... We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. What do you want this time? Why so defensive? Petrus, you have a proposal to make, I believe. That's right. I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich. You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever, and that my ideas are always fruitful. You have a reputation of being a first-class manipulator. Wait, at least listen to our proposal. You really take me for an idiot. Gentlemen, teach them not to mess with... Maybe it's like you protect me in this battle. 